Dearly beloved in the Lord Jesus Christ, I invite you all to the program, Oh Jesus, talk to me. Hallelujah. God's word is life. And when we speak it, life is released into the whole atmosphere. Hallelujah. Life is coming to you. Hallelujah. Let us turn to God's word right now. The book of Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 5 and the later part of it only. But he who takes warning will save his life. Hallelujah. God's word of warning is always with us. His spirit wants us where to go and where not to go. What to do and what not to do. My brother, my sister, when we look in the life of Joseph, we can see that the wife of Potipar, she tempted Joseph. When no one was there with her, she told Joseph, lie with me. Hallelujah, that we can read in Genesis 39 and verse 12, we can read it. That she caught him by his garment saying, lie with me. But he left his garment in her hand and fled and ran outside. Joseph left his garment with a woman, but he ran away. He not only ran from the woman, but he ran to his destiny prepared by God. He had to become the chief minister of Egypt next to Pharaoh. And he ran outside, fleeing from this woman, heeding to the warning voice of God towards his destiny, towards the position that was next to Pharaoh. He had to become the chief minister of Egypt. Hallelujah. Or the prime minister of Egypt. My brother, my sister, when we read Acts chapter 16 verses 17 and 18, I will read to you Acts 16, 17, 18. This girl followed Paul and us and cried out saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God who proclaimed to us the way of salvation. And this she did for many days, but Paul greatly annoyed, turned and said to the spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out that very hour. See, this girl is praising Paul and his company. She's saying, oh, these are ministers of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Paul did not say, oh, this is a great testimony for me. He said, he took heed to the warning voice of God. And he said, Come out of her, you evil spirit, tormenting spirit. And that evil spirit came out of the girl. You know what happened? She lost her job. People used her for divination purpose. And she lost her job. Joseph, when he ran out of Potipa's wife's hands, he also lost his job. Paul went to prison. Joseph went to prison. But they ministered to people in the prison. Joseph ministered by his dreams and Paul ministered by the gospel. Hallelujah. When Paul preached, people were saved and Joseph went to his destiny. Both of them fulfilled the will and purpose of God in their lives. Hallelujah. When you take heed to the warning voice of God, God will use you to accomplish his will and his purpose for your lives. Let us pray now. Lord, I pray, let them take heed to your warning voice, Lord. Your warning voice is always with us. You always warn us what to do and what not to do, where to go and where not to go. Let us give heed to it and obey you and by it accomplish your will and your purpose for our lives. We thank you, Lord. We thank you and do this prayer in the mighty and powerful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, O Heavenly Father. Amen.